do we do this? How do we do this? Know. So you mentioned in the in the article, you mentioned things um, that practice can actually change your gene expression. Tell me, what is gene expression? Sound check. Check one. Check two. Gene expression is, we always think of it in terms of like, you know, I, I'm breeding dogs and, you know, they're going to be a, a certain feature of that animal that will get passed down. That's one level of gene expression. But there are other levels of gene expression that like, it's like turning on a signal or turning off a signal. And that's what learning is because we need to learn and generate new pathways and new connections. And so what happens is in the brain is that when we do new experiences again i love using babies we as singers are more like babies than we like to think we are but it's a good thing because babies play and babies their gene expression is changing because of learning and they get better and better and better with that kind of exploring the world so that's what happens with practice now the thing with singing is is that we can and we've all been there where we have something that is learned <laughs> that is much harder to unlearn. And so that idea of having to unlearn takes more effort for the brain because you're undoing sort of, it's like a, a well-worn path, like tires in the road. But we have that at, at any level of learning where you have a way and then if you have to change it, it's like learning a new language almost. Mm -hmm. And it does involve gene expression and changing neural pathways. We talk about certainly in, in on the show here in the past and as a part of my lessons, I do talk about the, the development of those new neural pathways. Are we erasing old pathways in to, to, to form new ones? How are they yeah. forming together? What's happening there? We're not really ever erasing, mm. um, but what we're doing is rerouting. You know, yeah. it's like if you have a stream yes. and you know, you're trying desperately to carve out so the water goes a certain way. The hardest thing, but also the best way I try to word it is that it is a prediction. So just like the weather, if you have the weather, the weatherman will tell me tomorrow it's gonna be cloudy. Well, how do they know that? They have a lot of data from a lot of measurements that they're taking to predict the weather. Well, that's what every motor behavior is. It's a prediction. So what happens is if you have a lot of data to do, you know, we can even give an example to like a lot of effort, that prediction is just really well wired. The brain is going to say, I have to make this sound and I remember doing this. Yeah. And so how can you get then your brain to say, wait a minute, that may not be the best, most efficient way. You need to give it a lot of data, just like the weatherman, you know, whether it comes from, huh, no pun intended, maybe different inputs to start making that stream. However, if I keep focusing on the same kind of output, I'm going to be reinforcing that. So something maybe even completely crazy, like I'll sometimes have people throw a ball on the ground for, a, you know, I hate the word high note because there really is no such thing, but it's finding something opposite that will then start clearing that new pathway. They have a different association so that you can get a different prediction rather than just trying to conquer it over and over again because the brain's like, oh, I remember this. I'm going to do it that way that kind of thing. So yeah. that's the way we rewire is like algorithms in a way. Are they sort of still sort of sitting there? And if, if you made the mistake of reverting to old habits, is that, are they going to refire and redevelop? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's any pathway that gets used gets, you know, there's something called myelination. I use the analogy between like a wire and then the plastic that's around it. Yeah. And that's what a nerve is like. It's yes. a it's a wire that has plastic around it. And the more you use a pathway, yeah. the more myelin coating it gets. Yes. If you have a really strong pathway, it'll be very difficult. You have to basically make one that is stronger in terms of its myelination. And these are, you know, very complicated things, but that idea of it will be a memory and it's very difficult to let go of that, but you can rewire. I mean, that's what my disability proved in mm -hmm. a way 
is, and I'm still rewiring some things because mm. I did have, I lost about a perfect fifth of my upper range. That was the biggest, and I was a high soprano. Yeah. And I'm still, you know, inching my way back up, you know, definitely regained probably a major third and even got a, another half step about a year ago. So there's always possibilities. Like we have yeah. to look at it that we can do anything, that yeah. the brain's very plastic. They call it neuroplasticity. Yeah. And it should give us hope yes. rather than make us feel limited.